Hey everyone, welcome back to Mainframe Tech Videos. In today's video, we've got an advanced COBOL concept, XML generation. I think you're really going to enjoy it, so stick around until the end. In this video we will discuss about XML Generate Statement Operation of XML Generate Format of XML Generate Sample XML Sample COBOL code for XML generation XML Generate Statement The XML Generate Statement converts data to XML format. The format of the XML Generate Statement is given below. We will discuss in detail about these statements. Output variable Output variable is the receiving area for a generated XML document. The output variable must be large enough to contain the generated XML document. Typically, it must be from 5 to 10 times the size of input structure, depending on the length of the data name or data names within input structure. If output variable is not large enough, an error condition exists at the end of the XML generate statement. Input structure Input structure denotes group or elementary data item to be converted to XML format. The following data items that are specified by input structure are ignored by the XML generate statement. Any subordinate are named elementary data items or elementary filler data items. Any data item subordinate to input structure that is described with the redefines clause or that is subordinate to such a redefining item. Any data item subordinate to input structure that is described with the renames clause. Any group data item all of whose subordinate data items are ignored. Count and phrase. If the count and phrase is specified, counter will contain the count of generated XML character encoding units. In simple term it will contain the length of the output XML generated. Encoding phrase. The encoding phrase, if specified, determines the encoding of the generated XML document. XML declaration phrase If the XML declaration phrase is specified, the generated XML document starts with an XML declaration that includes the XML version information and an encoding declaration. Attributes phrase the attributes phrase causes every eligible data item included in the generated XML document to be expressed as an attribute of the containing XML element. To be eligible as attributes, the data item must be elementary, must have a name other than filler, and must not have an occurs clause. In simple terms the group level data item in COBOL cannot be an attribute. We have an example here for element and attribute. In the first example gender is an attribute. In the second example gender is an element. Namespace phrase The namespace value must be a valid uniform resource identifier. Must be of category alphanumeric or national and must not be figurative constants. Namespace prefix phrase Namespace prefix phrase is to specify a prefix to be applied to the start and end tag of each element in the generated document. You can specify a prefix only if you have specified a namespace as described above. Name phrase allows us to supply element and attribute names. In other words, we can specify the name to be used for each copybook data item in the XML tag. If we did not specify this then the name of the data item is used as it is. Type phrase Allows us to control attribute and element generation. Suppress phrase Allows us to identify and unconditionally suppress items that are subordinate to input structure and selectively generate output for the XML generate statement. If the suppress phrase is specified, Output variable must be large enough to contain the generated XML document before any suppression. We can suppress every element using generic suppression method. 
or we can suppress every element individually using when phrase. Here is a sample XML, let us note it as sample 1 for the rest of the video. We will generate this XML structure through a COBOL program later in this video. Also take a look at this XML sample, we will note it as sample 2 in the rest of the video. Note, it has an attribute and repeating elements. Take a look at the COBOL code that will generate the XML sample 1. Let us discuss about the COBOL code for XML sample to generation. Here we are using with attributes to denote that our XML contains attributes. The type of is used to declare which data item is to be considered as attributes. If we didn't use type of all the data item subordinate to a group item will be considered as its attributes. We've been using input structure to denote the input data item throughout our video. The copybook structure is designed such way it is in line with the output XML structure we need. Let us look at below XML and the copybook. We need the root tag of the element as employee in the output XML. In simple words all the output tags will be within the employee tag. We will keep all the data item within the group level item and name it as employee tag to achieve this. In our case it is wv01empRec. Let us look at the sample program for XML generation. We have sample employee records in input file. The XML tags will be written in output file. If there are any errors or exception while generating XML, then the record will be written to error file. The XML structure we need to generate should be declared as a copybook or working storage structure. It's important to note that the child element in XML will be given under the group element of COBOL variable structure. WV01MPREC is containing the structure for our sample XML1. WV02MPREC is containing the structure for our sample XML2. Let us look at the XML generation for sample 1. The output XML tags will be in the WVXML opt data variable. The length of the generated tags with values will be in WVXML data ln variable. The name phrase is used to supply the XML tag name we need for variables in the copybook structure. If we didn't specify name phrase the copybook variable name will be taken as it is. For example wv01empRec will generate a XML tag as wv01empRec. We are using the name phrase to say what should be the name for each variable when XML tag is generated. Let us look at the XML generation for sample 2. We discussed about the name phrase earlier. Let us discuss about the type phrase. The type phrase allows us to decide which variable to be considered as attributes. Note that we can't give a group level variable as attribute. Only a subordinate level variable can be given as attribute to the group level variable. In our case WV01EMPDPT is considered as an attribute to its group level variable employee record. Suppressing is a way to exclude a variable from XML tag generation. We are using generic suppress to exclude every alphanumeric variable when it's empty and every numeric variable when zero. We have our compile link edit JCL. Let us submit and check the output. The job is submitted now. We have got maximum return code as 4. Let us view the XML tags in the output file. As we all can see we have got output with XML tags.
Thank you for watching the video. If you're new here, consider hitting that subscribe button and ringing the notification bell so you never miss out on our content.